Good morning gamers! In today's video, I'll be going over Agni, the god of fire. Agni is a high burst damage mage that has a lot of control and his abilities combo together quite well. I'll be splitting this video into two parts, a quick guide and a comprehensive guide. If you're interested in either or, there is going to be a timestamp in the description of this video where you can skip to right where you want to watch. Thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Thanks for watching! We're going to kick this video off with the quick guide to Agni. Agni is a high damage bursting mage who likes to poke from range or to get in close to finish the job. He can be played in two very different various playstyles and has a lot of versatility in his kit. We're going to be going over abilities, combos, do's and don'ts for this god. Agni's passive is called combustion as you land autos on enemy gods minions or jungle camps you build up your passive meter as you can see on the left here the flame lit up and it is flashing indicating that this ability is ready to be used when you land your second third or fourth ability it will ignite the enemy god doing tick damage over time using the stacks and setting it back to zero Agni's first ability is called Noxious Fumes. He puts down an area effect that does dot damage as enemies are standing within it. This ability also can be ignited to do additional damage and stun targets that are within the radius. Agni's second ability is called Flame Wave. He shoots out a wall of flame that does damage. This also ignites Noxious Fumes. You can put down Noxious Fumes and then use Flame Wave to do additional damage and stun the target. Agni's third ability is called Path of Flame. This is your engage, disengage, you basically dash forward leaving a area of fire starting with the fire in front of you and a small bit right behind you. This ability also ignites Noxious Fumes so you can put your Noxious Fumes down and then dash in doing the burst damage and stun. Agni's ultimate is called Rain of Fire. You shoot some meters up in the sky that come down at your targeted location that go up and then come down doing damage. This ability can also ignite Noxious Fumes. So you can ultimate, put down Noxious Fumes and stun the target while doing damage. Now that is the abilities for Agni. Let's get into some of the combos. There is a lot of various ways that you can engage with Agni and disengage. We're going to start with some engage uh, possibilities here. So you can start with Rain of Fire and then go into Noxious Fumes, into Path of Flame, and then Flame Wave. So I will, as I screw that up royally. Sorry about that. And let's try that again. Just ignore that it happened. Now with that, like that, like this, and turn around and hit with your two. That is combo one. Combo 2 is Noxious Flames, Flame Wave, Dash, Turn Around, and Alt. Combo 3, Noxious Fumes, Flame Wave, or sorry, Path of Flame, into your 2, and Ultimate. For disengage possibilities, the easiest one that a lot of people will use is you put your Noxious Fumes down in front of you, dash through it, stun them, turn around, and hit the enemy with a couple ults, or just keep running away if you're low health. Now we're going to quickly go over do's and don'ts. Basically with Agni, you want to poke from range until you whittle your enemy down to a certain health range. Once they're low enough, you can either continue poking them and poking them and poking them until they die, or go in and slaughter them. I do not recommend with Agni boxing in close range, just take your time poking from range. And there's not a lot of most gods can do about you, especially if they're melee. Um, and that is the quick guide for Agni. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell 
you don't miss any of my future uploads. Thank you for watching. Bye! Welcome to the comprehensive guide to Agni, the God of Fire. Now, we're going to be going over his passive and all of his abilities in detail, telling you exactly what they do, what they provide, um, cooldowns, damage, etc., and etc. I'll be going over combos, do's and don'ts, all that lovely stuff, so just hang in there and enjoy this video. Now, Agni's passive is called Combustion. Every time Agni lands an auto attack on an enemy god or a minion, he builds stacks of his Combustion. Now, as you can see, that flame on the left above your avatar picture started to grow as I was landing autos on this Odin. You get two stacks of this passive on enemy god hits and one per minion or jungle camp auto hit. When you have full stacks of this ability, your second ability, Wall of Fire, and your fourth ability, Rain of Fire, will ignite the enemy, causing them to take tick damage for a couple seconds. Now you can see there my ability hit, and he's taking some tick damage. I believe it's roughly about three seconds after the ability hits, resetting the passive to zero, which can then be stacked again, so you can use it one more time, or how many times you want to get it off. Agni's first ability is Noxious Fumes. Agni generates an area effect at his target location. It does tick damage when enemy gods come into contact with the radius. Additionally, if you use your second, third, or fourth ability, it will ignite this area effect, causing it to explode, stun any enemy god or enemy minion, really anything at all that is in the circle for a second, and doing additional damage. This is what it looks like. Very simple. I stunned him, he took some damage. We're gonna quickly go over the stats. So at level one, the tick damage is 10 with 50 at max rank with additional magical scaling. The explosion damage is 20 at level one with 100 at max rank with additional magical scaling. The fume duration is 10 seconds and the stun is a flat one second at all ranks. Agni's second ability is Flame Wave. You basically shoot a wave of fire in front of you. As you can see, the rectangle reticle in front of me. Basically, when you activate the ability, it takes a couple seconds to wind up and then shoots the ability forward doing damage. This ability also combos with Noxious Fumes to ignite it, doing additional damage with it. We're going to go over these stats. Very simple, not a lot to go over with Flame Wave. It really just does damage, so at rank 1, you do 90 damage, and at max rank, you're doing 290 with additional magical scaling. Agni's third ability is Path of Flames. This is your escape and your initial year. Just make sure when you're dashing, you're not dashing towards the enemy, you're dashing away from the enemy. So when you activate the ability, Agni dashes forward, leaving a trail of fire. He leaves a small trail behind him, and then the rest of it in front of him. Any enemies that come into contact with this area of effect or you dash through will start taking burn damage every half a second. Basically, it's adding tick damage to them. I find that this ability to get the best effect out of it is to put your noxious fumes down and then dash through an enemy, forcing them to standing in it for a couple of seconds. That tick damage lasts for, I believe, approximately two seconds. We're gonna quickly refer to the stats for this ability. So at level one, you're getting 20 damage per tick with this ability and then 60 at max rank with additional magical scaling. The path lasts for three seconds and the burn damage, yeah, as I said, happens every 0.5 seconds for two seconds. I almost forgot, lastly, with Agni's third ability, Path of Flame, you are knockback immune when using this ability. So abilities like Hercules is too, as you can see in this little clip I'm showing, when the ability hits where it should be pulling me back, it doesn't because I'm using the dash. 
keep this in mind when you're fishing certain characters. It does not work against tears uh, pull, even though it's technically considered a knockback. I guess the first stages of it is a pull. It does work for Hercules's two and several other abilities. Agni's ultimate is Rain of Fire. It is a ranged area effect damaged ability. There is a slight delay for when the ability goes off. Basically, when you use it, it goes up and then comes down. It's a giant meteor of fire that does damage. This ability can also activate noxious fumes, causing it to explode. You have three charges of this ability. And to keep track of that, you have the halo on top of your head. And this skin, as you can see, it's little missiles. So every missile there is how many charges I have. Or you have right below where your combustion meter is, the three rocks. That also is your indicator for how many charges of your ultimate you have. We're going to quickly go over the stats. So at level one, this ability does 140 damage. And at max rank, it does 300 with additional magical scaling. Uh, you can have a max of three halos at any time. We're going to be going over leveling order and combos. Now, in terms of maxing abilities, I like to max Flame Wave first, then Path of Flames, Combustion third, and Rain Fire last. Now, in terms of leveling in Conquest from levels 1 to 4, I'd like to put one point into Flame Wave to start off at level 1, then my second point into Path of Flames, third point into Noxious Fumes, and then my fourth ability in or fourth ability point into uh, flame wave and then at level five putting it into your ultimate and then proceeding to max out uh, flame wave now there is a lot of combos you can do with agni this is why he's my favorite mage in the game so we're gonna go over them one by one so depending on the situation you kind of have a lot of room to Think about what you're going to do to either engage or disengage. So we'll start with some engages. Rain of Fire and then go into Noxious Fumes into Path of Flame and then Flame Wave. So I will as I screw that up royally. Sorry about that. And let's try that again. Just ignore that it happened. Ignore that, like that, like this, and turn around and hit with your two. That is combo one. Combo two is Noxious Flames, Flame Wave, Dash, Turn Around, and Alt. Combo three, Noxious Fumes, Flame Wave, or sorry, Path of Flame, into your two, and Ultimate. For disengage possibilities, the easiest one that a lot of people will use is you put your Noxious Fumes down in front of you, dash through it, stun them, turn around, and hit the enemy with a couple ults, or just keep running away if you're low health. Last but not least, do's and don'ts for Agni. Now, I see this happen quite a bit, uh, and it's just basically Agni players, I guess, being really impatient. In the early stages of the match, don't be as aggressive until you get your ultimate. Your ultimate is really your easiest way to engage, and it you kind of need all your abilities to be as effective as you can be with Agni. So if you can, at the beginning of the match, just try to farm and hit your ultimate. Once you have it, feel free to start poking your enemy down as much as you want and trying to get kills and being a lot more aggressive. Until then, try to be a little bit more passive. That doesn't mean you shouldn't be poking them or doing damage to your enemy god within lane. Just know to not fully commit unless you really can get a kill. Even though, even still, I, I still, I just wouldn't. I would just be very careful about it because a lot of your damage needs to happen with your full combo. If you miss any part of your combo up, you're most likely not going to kill the target and then everything is going to cool down and whoever you're versing is most likely going to turn around and then destroy you. Because Agni is extremely squishy. Um, That is a don't. Another thing, like I said, is practice your combos. A aiming is super important with Agni. If you're not super 100% and landing your abilities, this is not the god for you. You need to be landing your abilities and all your combos no matter what in any situation. 
The moment you miss anything is the moment you're going to die. I've seen a lot of Agony players where they were basically useless throughout the entire match because they cannot land anything. And you really can't afford to miss anything with Agni. All of his damage comes from comboing people down. Things... Good things about Agni. Uh, very easy to poke people down with your ultimate since it's on such a low cooldown. So don't feel bad about using it to poke down enemy god within lane. That's actually a good idea. I like to, just because bullying is fun with Agni, is to throw an ultimate and then Noxious Fumes. It's a good chunk of damage. You don't even have to engage after that. You usually discourage whoever you're laning against to go back to base because you'll probably half health them. Or they'll stay in the lane and as soon as you have your Noxious Fumes back, you can engage and most likely get a kill very easily. It's not very hard for Agni since she has so much range to land that stun ultimate combo. And uh, that's everything for do's and don'ts with Agni. So just remember, don't be super aggressive until you get your ultimate charges so you can use your full combos. Poke your enemies down when you get the chance to with your ultimate since it's on such a low cooldown. And practice. Don't You don't want to be missing your abilities. It is super key to get these abilities off. Well, actually, you know what? There's actually one last thing that I'm almost slipped my mind. Whenever you can, try to get your passive combustion on. That extra tick damage doesn't seem like a lot, but it helps in a lot of situation to get as much damage as you can out on the enemy god. And with that, that is a wrap for the do's and don'ts for Agni. And that is the end to my comprehensive guide to Agni, the God of Fire. Thanks for watching and sticking around. I hope you learned something you didn't know before. And I hope you feel like you can play Agni at a competent level. Uh, make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Please comment, leave me any feedback in the comments of my videos, anything you think I am missing or anything that I could fix, let me know. I want to improve these videos as much as I can for you guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great afternoon, morning, or night, depending on the time of your day. And I'll see you in my next video.